bit more detailed video of the system, the fish, what there is there. That's the fish. These are Onyx Picassos. Uh, from 6 months to 14 months old now. It's all great in there. 258 of them. Next one, Common Oscillaris. There's only half of them there, half of them are in another tank. There's a couple of little say miss bars in there. There's your Picassos, all grades, A, B, C's. Some still not even developed, not yet. There's a one there, they're near enough naked. That's hey, there's some very nice fish they are. Hundred in there exactly. Snowflakes. Fifty snowflakes and thirty-six commons what come from the snowflakes as well. Right, the systems themselves, each one's two hundred litres. Sectioned off so you got hundred litres for each tank, three foot. Right, they run off their own some, I'll show you on this end one. So water comes in, there's a 32 mil drain. You don't have to use that drain, you can have a put a cap on the top of that so it just runs through these filter sponges and pump back air. Fire an air pump. Yeah, I've run so run them on a separate sump as well. So they're all all linked up. About 60 kilogram of live rock. Uh, power heads. This sump's got the auto top up. TMC UV. There's a pump in there that runs to the UV over to the algae scrubber. Alby Scrubbers red LED light, 27 watt. Stops you getting any algae in your display tank. Bio Bulls, built sock, uh, 500 watt digital heater. Hanna 2 point pH meter. Bubble Magus phosphate reactor. Bubble Magus curve 7. Return pump. Jebo. DC 12,000 return pump in the corner there that is a 60 litre minute air pump it's only 35 watt which is very economical um, a bit of LED lights, strip lights that's all, all they require Stand aluminium stand as well. This system similar to the last system you had, but I've drilled these tanks. 32 mil pipe, all linked up. Taps pipe work. There's LED strip lights on there. It's also T8 system, light system on each row. There's a sump that drains into. There's a four foot sump I've got to go with it. I took off my reef system, I sold that the other week. The fella can take four foot sump, so I'll give him a three foot one instead. Right, some more oscillaris. There's a couple of snowflakes in there as well. So it's microscopes, uh, used for your rotter cultures. I've got that big tub outside, there's a gallon tub. That is full of copods. There's tanks, these spare little hatching tanks. 
ones that I've used just for hospital when needed. Um, I did start hatching them in them, but they're no good for hatching. You've got to have a two foot tank. I right, say so sieves, heaters, test kits, LED lights, uh, all Corellans up, lotions and potions, uh, air removable sections for these tanks. Butts there, sorry your water. Right, these are all been put up, it's not so I haven't been hatching them for the last two, three months now. There's eight two foot tanks, what you're hatching with, all there's all all your pumps to run it. it I ran all these hatching ones on two four-way air pumps. Sponge filters for each tank, there's 50 watt heaters for each tank. Air stones, basically everything you need to hatch in there. I've got another set of tanks. When you came last time, these were the tanks I had in the back room. Okay, I've done like lots so I've changed them over, I've drilled the tanks. So that's a four foot one there, and a three foot one. Um, It's a little 3 watt, same as your old top up pump, put 3 watt one in each tank for a bit more circulation. Just have them on a timer, they come on a quarter of an hour, once an hour. So all your thermometers, temperatures, 